Belle Theater. Tonight's story is taken from the classic French tale about a merchant's beautiful daughter who finds her prince through the kind heart of a beast. Beauty and the Beast. Do you think it suits me? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> there it is. Oh, so smart and debonair. Thank you. Is Beauty home? Beauty? Yes. Oh, inside on her hands and knees, as always. <laughs> Thank you. Well, oh, I hate her name. She should be called Scrub Woman or Scullery. Or Mock Handle or room. Why doesn't Jacques call on us? We're twice as beautiful. <laughs> oh, Shrek, you startled me. Good morning, beauty. Could I get you something? Tea, a cake? Well, charming of you to ask, only I've just eaten. Beauty. You know how horrid I feel it is for you to fill your days with housework. Will you not reconsider my offer? Jack, you are a very nice man. Please, I... Beauty, do not say it. I have to. False hope is not fair. You should be paying court to my sisters, not to me. Beauty, why do you always rebuff me? You must realize I'm agonizing for your love. Chuck, I cannot leave my father now. He needs me. After all that he's been through. But, Beauty, if you become my wife, surely my family will see to it he's provided for. Jack, when I marry, it will be out of love, not out of need. Jack, have you heard? We will be a family of means again. Oh? Yes. One of Father's ships just arrived in port. <laughs> He's gone to claim the fortune. And he'll bring us the most wonderful gifts when he returns. What dazzling news. Yes. Would you care for a stroll, Jacques? We could tell you more. A stroll would be charming. <laughs> Jacques! I know Father's on his way home. He'll be here any minute. <laughs> go wrong. They are hungry and we are hungry. We are lost and they are not. Don't be afraid.
I want to thank you for your hospitality. And I am ravenous. Delicious. I drink to your health. my rose, the one I love the most. You could have taken anything except the rose. For this thoughtless robbery, you deserve to die. No, no. Now let me explain. I promised my daughter's riches, and through unfortunate circumstances I am ruined. My youngest daughter asked only for a white rose. Uh, my lord, don't I... call me a lord. Call me beast. You have 15 minutes to prepare to die. No, my lord. Silence! The beast commands you. You have stolen my rose, and you must die. Unless one of your daughters will come to my castle in your place. Then I will spare your life. Go now. That is unthinkable. Go and profit of your chance. If none of your daughters will take your place, then you must swear you shall return within seven days. Swear! I swear. I shall return in seven days. But I am lost. I, I, I do not know the road home. Take my horse. His name is Magic. All you have to do, say in his ear, go where I go, Magic. If all of your daughters are too cowardly to take your place, then the horse will bring you back. Get out! Go. Uh, go where I go. Magic. The beast said seven days. Mother, you cannot go back. I have no choice, Beauty. Why worry? Why go? He'll never come after you. I agree. It's a lot of fretting about nothing, if you ask me. He will come. There is no question of that. Besides, I have given my word. Father, let me go in your place. You must never say that. I love you. Oh, Julie, die of grief if I lost you. I love you too, Beauty, with all my heart. But we must all die, some way, sometime. <laughs> I am old. 
But even if I had a century of life before me, I would never allow any of my daughters to go to him. Never go. I am going. Oh? <laughs> how? <laughs> Supposing you are telling the truth, how do you find the monster? <laughs> <laughs> Look into my eyes like that. You will see me only in the evening when you dine. But you must not look into my eyes like that. Beauty! 
Beauty! There's everything here for your convenience. I'm not very happy. I'm not used to being served. But I see that you have done everything possible to help me forget the way you look. to admit it. Everything I possess is yours. Whatever you wish, the slightest whim, you shall have it. Every evening at seven, I will appear. Before I disappear, I must ask you a question. the same. Is that my lord? Beauty. Will you be my wife? Oh, no. No, beast, no.
are you in my bedchamber? I, uh, I came to you to bring you a gift. Leave. Good evening. You are late. Thank you, beauty, for noticing. I'm anxious waiting for you. I, I want to talk to you. I cannot live without my father. Beauty, beauty, what are you doing? Please let me go, Lynn. Please let me go. Get up, beauty. Get up. Please let me go. It is I who must kneel to you. I beg you, let me see my father. When you come back, beauty, will you be my wife? What are torturing me? I know. I am very hideous. But I will die of grief and loneliness. Days are very long. I must look forward to seven o'clock. You are so kind. Your voice seems much softer. Yet you desire to be away from me. Your 
Please die, Mill. My father's dying. I can't see you suffer. Then send me home. But you must return within seven days. You will let me see my father? sleep. Put it on your finger. Close your eyes. When you open them again, you will be with your father.
¿Qué? I, I never thought I'd see you again. I never. Oh, I'm home now, Father. Oh, thank the Lord. Oh. <laughs> But how did you escape? Oh, there was no need to escape. The beast gave me this ring and it brought me here. Well, whatever the way. <laughs> I'm so happy to see you. Oh. <laughs> You'll see. Georgette, you should add more milk. Oh, be quiet. I have to do everything. Sisters, good morning. Georgette. Oh, Marguerite. My God. Are, are you not dead? Oh, no, I am quite alive. Hmm. My, my, my. And quite fashionable, aren't we? Just dressing up like a little princess. While we're living in poverty and eating gruel. Yes, and being driven mad by your father. Having to wait on him every minute, day and night. You're a perfectly capable beauty. I know you are, Marguerite. But now that I am home, I will take father's breakfast. Well, back from the dead and in a lovely... Mood. Did you see the ring she's wearing? No, I did not care to look. Well, next time you see her, look. Mm. Mm. <gasps> Father, be careful. No, 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 I, I can walk on my own. Of course you can, I've been Father. walking this yard for 50 years without any help. <laughs> of course, <Father. laughs> She's not wearing that ring anymore. Well, where is it then? I don't know, but it looks like our little sister has stumbled onto a fortune. Oh. Oh, <laughs> Hello, Jack. Good morning, Jack. <laughs> Beauty, you are alive. My, how stunning you are. More charming than ever. <laughs> Thank you. You look quite charming yourself. Will you excuse me, please? <laughs> Did I offend her in some way? Forget the little snip, Jacques. Would you enjoy a stroll? Why, yes. That would be charming. I want the truth. What was it like for you there? I was very well taken care of. Hmm. Father, I only have seven days to visit you, and then I must return. Return? No, no, no you're, you're never going back to that place. I must. If, if I do not, he will die. Well, that would be good. I'd like that. Oh, no, Father, I, I cannot hurt him. He has only been... Kind and giving. That's not the way I remember him. Father, when I first saw the beast, I was as terrified as you. But now when I am with him, I want to smile. <sighs> He tries so hard to please me. 
in his eyes. They're so sad. He's much more cruel with himself than with anyone else. Despite his ugliness, he has a gentle heart. Do not be confused, daughter. You may only be feeling pity for an animal. I, I just want it returned, please. All right. I'm going to change. When I come back, I want the ring in the box. You lying cow! How dare you call me a lying cow? You are a cow. You're a thief. I know you have it. I tell you Stop it! Stop it! Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I said stop it. What a charming evening. Now get rid of the damn thing. <gasps> Look at it. Diamonds and gold. <gasps> no, 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 don't, don't put it on, for God's sake. Get it out of the house. Now take the accursed piece to the city and sell it to some fool. Now hurry, boy, off with you. Stop the ring. Now. The beast trusted me and now he will die because I could not trust my own two selfish sisters. Selfish? Ha! <laughs> Besides, what's so important about that stupid ring? I must return to the beast and the ring is the only way. <laughs> well then, if I did have it, I would most certainly give it back, darling sister. Father. Please help me. There's no time. I must return, please. Why, Beauty? He's dying. The beast is dying. I want to be with him. Can you not understand? No, I do not understand. Perhaps I never could. <laughs> Beauty. <laughs> I took the ring. because I could not bear it to see you in the hands of a monster. But if he is as kind as you say he is, and if you must go and take my horse, find Jacques. I gave him the ring to sell at the marketplace. Oh, go quickly before I change my mind. I love you forever. Beauty, how good to see you. Please, Jacques, give me the ring. What? Oh, no, Beauty, the blasted piece is cursed, you know. Jacques, please. All right. If you will take a stroll by the water with me. If you wish. The sunset reflected off the water should be most charming.
beauty. too much about you, please. I love you. The beast is no more. I was the beast. My parents would not believe in fairy tales, so the fairies punished them. They cast a spell on me. I could only be saved by the love of a woman. Are such miracles possible? Yes. Through love. Love can make a man become a beast. And love can also make an ugly man beautiful. What is the matter, beauty? Do you regret that I have changed? Oh, no, my lord. It is not that I... I miss the beast. You love the beast? Yes. Are you happy now? I shall have to get accustomed to you. You are a strange one, you. You are a strange one. Will you marry me, beauty? Will you share my kingdom with me? Where is your kingdom? Very far. They fly there. Through the clouds. Are you afraid? I love to be afraid. With you. <laughs> <laughs> 